new, 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 new. First up. Um, updated product. Uh, we've been stocking these uh, NeoPixel breakout boards for quite a while. They got a little bit of a respin. We can't get these in the originals use WS2812S chips, which are like not really available anymore. Nobody uses them. So we updated these to use the SK6812. The big difference is um, now they uh, uh, have four pins. You know, the, the chip has four pins. And you can't use up to nine volt input. They're actually uh, limited to six volt. So you can't use higher voltages like the six to, you know, if you happen to be powering your project from six to nine, you can't do that anymore. But what I do like is that they're, they're much more stable, like they're less flaky, they're more um, reliable against uh, air voltage spikes, like they don't like burn out as easily. And um, they're okay with 3.3 volt signal level, which the WS2811 uh, was not as good at. So uh, also you get five now instead of four because it's cheaper to get the, um, the new chips. So altogether, pretty much the same thing, but better and less expensive. Thanks, though. We also have some ding and dent. Um, we got a whole bunch of these um, 20 page SMD uh, storage booklets and they have like a little cracking, see at the bottom there, or they have a little scuff or something. They work totally fine, but if you're, you know, we don't want to sell. You're going to get them scuffed up anyways. You may as well save some money. Yeah, so you basically put them in the shop for like a couple bucks. Uh, great for storing your eight millimeter tape components. Okay, next up. Next up, we've got two of these like uh, multi-protocol USB to serial converters. One comes as a cable, and we also have one that comes as a like plug-in thing. That's cool. They're basically the same, but one is a cable and one is plug-in. Um, so if you go to like this image, you can yeah. look at what it is. Okay, so this is USB. You plug into USB A. One one has a cable already in it. One has a cable. Got it. One has a plug. Yeah. Same. Otherwise, it's identical. Is it? Um. And what I like about this is it gives you all of the protocols, except you you can only use one. There's only one USB serial converter chip inside. It's actually the FT231X, which is great because it's a, you know, kind of a modern RS232, uh, sorry, FT232 chip. So on the right-hand side, you get RS232, so that's eight signals, um, including ground. So it's nine total pins of, uh, you know, um, data in, data out, RTS, CTS, uh, ring, DTR, DSR, DCD. So like all the RS232 signals you need, like a, from a DE9, there's a plus minus about eight volt DC. So there's, um, they're probably properly level shifted. On the left-hand top side, you have TTL signals. This is zero to five volts. So that's what you use to like program a microcontroller or an Arduino or an ESP or whatever. Um, and those are, uh, you get five volt power, 3.3 volt power, which is good for like 50 milliamps or so. RX and TX and ground, and those are five volt logic level. Although the RX can probably handle uh, three volt just fine. Um, the FT231X is pretty uh, flexible about that. And then at the bottom left is the RS45422, and that uses a MAX45 converter chip to convert the um, RX and TX into differential signals. Those are good for long distance signaling. I think DMX also uses uh, RS45. Um, so altogether, you can, you know, pick and choose. You want plus or minus 8 volt, use the RS-232. want TTL level, use the TTL level. You need to talk to 485, use the 45. All have terminal blocks, so you don't need to do any soldering. Just nice. use Phillips, open it up, and connect your And you wires. can get one a cable if you want. You want a cable? The cable has USB uh, A or C. And what I like about the um, this one, the plug-in one, is it's a flippable USB. Ooh. So no matter what... You'll have the LEDs. It won't take three times. Okay. It won't take three times. You'll see the LEDs and the labels no matter what. So years of your life will be saved. It's a good little tool, especially the little plug-in one. I think if you're doing any kind of like network um, work, if you're like doing field analysis or debugging, or you're doing like music or audio, video, whatever, have one of these handy because you can just quickly attach, wire stuff up, and uh, debug it with ease. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up. And next up, we have some half height GTMX um, switches. Uh, these are MX key switch compatibles, but they're shorter. Um, they're three millimeters shorter, which is like, you're like, how's that half the height? But well, the height 
that's half is the above the switch. Yeah. It's like whatever. So instead of being like 10 millimeters above, it's seven millimeters above, but it's, you know, kind of noticeable. Um, Clicky click. They're very, you know, it's, it's a nice um, reduction in height, but they're completely MX compatible. So you can use them anywhere. Use MX switches. I put the light on there. That's all right. Okay. I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, it's okay. So you know how you turn that display off, by the way? You pinch and zoom afterwards. So do that and then hit the light. And then go like. Oh. Yeah, and that goes away. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So this is, um, this is a comparison. This is your standard MX switch uh, compatible. And then this is the half height. So, you know, it's. It is shorter, but you can use all the same keycaps. It's got that standard X-shaped keycap top with the little um, supports, and it plugs into sockets, and then um, you can still have um, light shining through. There's a little translucent um, area here, so you're you're good to go, um, no matter what you want to use it for. And these are the black linear, so they're not clicky. They're kind of like straight forward, much like the kale blacks. All right, the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our customers, our community, and everyone who makes this thing go, and of course, the people who show and share the things that are important to them. The Pikachu, Pikachu is in stock. We showed this off a couple weeks ago, but we didn't actually have them, but we got them. Got them. We bagged them up. They're mm -hmm. in the store. You want them. I just put in 100. I think that um, hopefully we still have a few left over. Let me let me check real fast. Let me check. We're gonna check and see if we have a chance. Well, I don't know. Maybe it depends. Shop. Yeah. You click on what's new, and then scroll down. Oh yeah, we have seventy. Okay, there's seventy two left, folks. You can get them. Seventy two. And you can get two per customer because I want you know you need yeah. a backup. And there's a discount for them. This is crazy. And you get ten percent off. What? Save What? 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 Okay, so right. uh, why should someone get one of these? Um, okay, it's twice as fast as the RP2040. It's been compatible. Um, CircuitPython runs on it. MicroPython runs on it. There's Arduino support now. Um, 150 megahertz dual core M33 processor with um, floating point unit. Also RISC-V hazard three cores if you want them. Um, Twice as much RAM, about like 512K of RAM, which is awesome. And um, new HSTX peripheral, 50% more PIO, all around better. Great reasons. Bigger. Okay, faster. so they're in the store. They're going to go fast probably by the next few minutes. So yeah. go ahead and get them. That is new products of the week this new. week. New, 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 new.